Hey, brothers and sisters, kings and queens, soldiers and warriors, chosen vessels. This is your sister Fire. And I'm dropping in tonight, you all, um, to do a video that um, I really feel like this particular message is very vital, okay? Not to say that um, none of my messages or any of my messages are not vital, but maybe what I'm trying to say is at this particular time that I am dropping this message, my brothers and sisters, it is very vital. Okay, and this particular message is about how we need to be praying, okay, and praying without ceasing, not just for ourselves, but also for our spouses, for our kingdom spouses is what a lot of you like to say on YouTube, okay? Um, I will say um, also divine spouse. Your divine given husband or wife, my brothers and sisters. See, it is very vital to pray for your divine given spouse, aka your kingdom um, husband or wife, because you got to understand that the enemy is always on attack, okay? And he is definitely on assignment to attack kingdom marriages, okay? Because the enemy understands that when a divine woman of God, okay, and a divine man of God come together as one, okay? as one they are powerful okay and they cannot be stopped and so the enemy understands that my brothers and sisters so what he's going to do is he's always going to send a jezebel okay and and i want y'all to understand if you already don't that jezebel spirit can get in a man or a woman okay in a man or a woman all spirits can get in a man and a woman. Um, I spoke a little bit about this in one of my videos in the past. Um, ooh, I can't remember off rip which one it was, but I was trying to explain how um, you have certain people who say that they're a male, but they identify as a woman and vice versa, how a woman um, can identify as a man. And um, also how you have... Um, like, you know, some women who um, may uh, dress like a man and feel like they are a man. And that is because they have a male spirit inside of them. Now, I don't want to get too deep into that in this particular video because I want to stay on topic. But what will happen is the enemy will send a uh, Jezebel to a man. OK, because he knows that this man is on fire for God or this man is trying to live right for God. And he does not want that man to get with the right woman, with the woman that God has for him. So he will send a Jezebel to try to throw that man off, to try to take him off of his right path, his righteous path. OK, and um, utterly destroy him. OK, really, that's what he's really trying to do. Destroy us. And then vice versa, he will um, put a Jezebel spirit in a man and have that man approach a woman of God. OK, and try to do the same thing and try to take her off of her path and destroy her. And this is very serious, my brothers and sisters. I mean, this is really going on. We have to understand that we are fighting a spiritual battle. We are not fighting against flesh and blood. The enemy wants you to think that it is a flesh and, and blood fight, a flesh and, and blood battle. But it's not, my brothers and sisters. It is spiritual that's why we have to pray without ceasing, as the scripture says. I believe that's in James. Um, we have to um, honor the commandments of God, 
okay? Um, try our best to not sin and to live a repentant lifestyle so that we don't give the devil a door to enter in and to wreak havoc in our lives. And so um, what I want to say is that even if you do not know who your God-given husband is yet, um, even if you do not know who your divine given wife is yet, my brothers and sisters, and even if you do know, we need to be praying for them. I'm talking about praying for them daily, nightly, pray without ceasing like we pray for ourselves and like we pray for our children and our families, because that is our family. And we do not want the devil to be able to destroy that great, miraculous, beautiful, um, abundant kingdom relationship that God has for us. So see, we have a job to do. We do. Because that is our lifestyle. Even as a, a Christian, you know, I don't like to say I'm a Christian, but just to make it easy um, or simple, um, I'll say Christian, okay? I'm a follower of Christ. But that is what we are to be doing anyway as a Christian, as a follow, uh, follower of Christ. That is our lifestyle posture, is to be living a repentant lifestyle and to be praying without ceasing. But we must understand that we have to pray for our kingdom spouse. Because you better believe the enemy is attacking them left and right. Me personally, I want to speak to my kingdom spouse right now, my brothers and sisters. If y'all can just excuse me for one minute. Okay, this is serious. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm kind of laughing it off, um, but this is serious. To my kingdom spouse, and I know who you are. And I believe that you know who I am as well. I want to tell you that I love you. I love you. And I've been praying for you for a long time. And I can only uh, imagine that you have been doing the same for me. And now that I have found you or you have found me and we have recognized whom each other are. I don't want to let you go. I'm not willing to let you go for anything or for anyone. And I want you to know that I know that you are being attacked. And I understand what you are going through. I may not be able to see everything that you're going through, my husband, my beloved, but I get little glimpses of things. And I want to tell you that whatever you may do, um, I understand that we are human and I forgive you. I love you and I know that you have been given to me by God. So I'm going to cherish you. I want to do everything possible that to make you happy. I want to treat you and I'm going to treat you like the king that you are. I also need you to know and understand, which I, I think you already know, that I'm being attacked a lot. The scriptures say that um, the woman's seed will bruise Satan's head. So Satan is always on attack at the women a lot. Also because Satan has found um, that the woman is the weakest link. At least that's what he believes because of the whole Eve thing. And so that's another reason why he attacks women. He attacks men as well, but... You know, I'm trying to break it down of why Satan, it really goes on attack for the woman. Our seed is going to bruise his head. And he, and he feels like we're the weakest link. But I need you to understand that I am attacked a lot, just like you are. 
But one, and, and so I need you to be praying for me. Like I know you are, but I want you to hear these words coming from my mouth because I'm praying for you as well. My husband, I even, I even want to call you my brother, not in an incest type way, but in a, in no sense that we are family. And so I want you to know that nothing can keep me away from you. No man, no woman, no child, no devil in hell can keep me away from you. And we will be together one day soon. But we must stand fast in the faith. We must pray for one another and ourselves without ceasing. And we must live a repentant lifestyle my husband, my beloved. And we're going to come together and we're going to be powerful. We're powerful separately. <laughs> but we're a force when we're together. And we have great things to do for the kingdom of God. I also believe we even have a child to have. But that, that's a conversation we'll, we'll go into later. But I want you to know that I love you and that I am fighting for this marriage. And I would never give up. And I hope that you're doing the same. I have an ex that you may be aware about that is trying so hard to destroy my future to stop me from being with you. He is allowing Satan to use him. And I want you to know, just in case you might have a little worry, that I will never go back to him. All I see is you. I'm going to continue to do the work of God until God brings us together. That's all I'm focused on, my husband, is doing the work of God until he brings us together. Don't have any insecurities about anything or any other man. All I want is you. If God gave me you, then you are all that I need. You are all that I want Keep doing the work of God until he brings us together. The scriptures say that a man will find his wife. So I'm just waiting for you to find me. And that's all I'm going to say right now. It's so much that I want to say to you and I will be able to say to you. But we do have an adversary. And there's no need to be afraid. We don't fear. We walk in power and authority. So let's do this together. And let's shame the devil. And let's walk in our power. And let's receive everything that God has for us. We're not letting anyone or anything get in the way of it. I don't care what it looks like. We know what it is because we serve the almighty, true and living Yah. So with that being said, my beloved, I love you. To everyone else, I just hope that this video has inspired someone. And I'm like almost in tears, good tears. And just, you know, <laughs> yeah, they're good tears, but it's also just the, the pouring out of, you know, everything that I've been going through. But I'm good, you know, but I'm realistic. I'm realistic. 
I don't need to put on a facade for anyone. So I hope this is an inspiration to you all and motivation and education for you to pray for your kingdom, God given divine husband or wife. Fight for your right. Fight for what is yours. And do not let anyone or anything come in between it. With that being said, <laughs> I love you all. And I love my beloved with everything in me. This is your sister, Fire. This is your wife, Fire. And until next time. <laughs>